Hi, I'm Judy Lynn. Welcome to the Monday Morning Shift. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how it is EFT tapping, or emotional freedom technique, can take us out of that fight or flight state, actually lowering our cortisol levels and increasing the chemicals and hormones that give us that overall sense of well-being and happiness. I specialize in transformational coaching, and EFT tapping is my go-to tool for helping people release old patterns, traumas, and beliefs that keep them stuck and frustrated. It truly is the quickest way to produce positive, tangible results where you can truly feel the change take place within, which transforms your life. When you change your inner world, your outer world changes too. EFT tapping is finally getting more and more of its just dues. Here's what the Huffington Post has to write in a recent article. As they wrote about science's stance on EFT, I quote, if you're unfamiliar with tapping or similar techniques such as acupuncture, the entire process may seem strange, silly, or unrealistic. However, with prestigious organizations like the American Psychological Association endorsing the legitimacy of EFT, along with prominent MDs, psychiatrists, and even neurologists embracing the technique, it's not surprising that science has examined tapping claims. They go on to say, 17 studies have been published from 2008 to 2013 of various EFT processes, confirming positive results from the process. Unquote. In addition to my transformational coaching, I have become an authorized tapping into wealth coach for Margaret Lynch, who elaborates in the Huffington Post saying, tapping doesn't magically create wealth, but creating wealth takes vision action, enthusiasm, and a resilient mental toughness. Tapping is a fast and amazingly simple technique that can clear away even a lifetime habit of self-doubt, fear, insecurity, and self-sabotage, leaving one more resourceful, positive, creative, and in a word, happy. She goes on to say, this is where tapping enhances and facilitates the traits of positive thinking, courage, creativity, and passion commonly exhibited by the most highly successful people." Unquote. The thing is, you guys, you don't have to know the science or even believe that it works. Because the truth is, it just simply works. Try it on for size and see for yourself. I've cleared a major trauma in my life, I've quit smoking using EFT tapping, and I've blasted through my comfort zone on so many levels I can't even tell you. That's why I have such a passion for helping people do the same thing. Life really is too short. We're here to experience joy, and it's time to let it go. Kind of like the last verse in the song from Frozen, right? Have you seen it? You need to if you haven't. Let it go, let it go, and I'll rise with the break of dawn. Let's do a little bit of tapping, shall we? On whatever it is you might need to let go of. You know what it is. Start with the side of the hand and repeat after me, following through all the points afterwards. Side of the hand. Even though it feels really hard to let it go, I accept how I feel and who I am. Even though I don't believe I can let this go, I completely and totally love myself anyway. Even though letting this go is really tough and I'm not sure I can do it, I accept who I am and how I feel. Let's go to the eyebrow now. This thing is really tough to let go of. I've held on to it for so long. I'm not sure I would know how to be without it. Who would I be? I sort of feel justified in hanging on to it. It's a part of me. At least that's how I feel. As horrible as it is, I'm used to it. I wonder if it's possible to really let this go. It's been hurting for so long. 
and it's so painful to keep. I'd really love to be able to let it go, to be free of it, release the pain. I wonder if I could look at this differently, change my perspective on it just a bit. I did learn a lot through that experience. And I survived it. I'm stronger in so many ways. I'm open to the possibility of letting it go. I'm open to releasing the need to hold on to it. It's my choice. It always has been. And I choose to let it go. Letting it go. Cutting myself some slack. Cutting others some slack. Letting it go. And releasing it now. Just kind of work with it this way. Get really specific as to how you're feeling about whatever it is you're holding on to. If you're angry, say so. Frustrated, if it feels unfair, say so. Acknowledge and honor all that you're feeling. It helps move the energy of those toxic emotions and allows you to release them so much quicker as the tapping actually rewires the neurological response at the same time. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. And thank you so much for spending your precious time with me today. If you like what you've learned today, please share this post. And if you aren't already on my Monday Morning Shift newsletter where you get tapping and coaching tips right in your inbox, as well as a free tapping ebook that you can download right away, go to HarmonicLivingNow.com and sign up. I would be honored to have you as part of my Harmonic Living family. So until we meet again, you guys, go out there and make it your own.